We're here. We are here. We're Again. here. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Wake Talk Wednesday. Yes. It's like Wednesdays come so quickly. Well, and this month is going by so quickly. Do you realize For as sure. of today, it was exactly a month ago we moved in our new space? You're right. It was the 19th. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a month. No. In some ways, and in some ways, it seems like it's been longer because we're still organizing. I know. But we're getting there. Well, it's like, I keep saying it's 90% of the way done, and then we'll do a whole lot more, and I still say it's 90%. Well, then done. we'll go, oh, that doesn't work. Let's redo it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Beth. How are you? Hi, Hi Kim. Kim. Kim's been showing off her. Her Jones. Uh, well, and her, somebody was asking about, um, which one were they asking about? The, the melon? And she posted a picture where I'd cut it. Yeah, the, but the Jones the orchid, and Chrome the Root. Orchid. Oh, yes, which we have ready. Yeah. But, to ship. Oh, Plano. I live in Plano. Yes, you do. I do. I do not, but um, Kimberly does. I didn't double check these lights. Hang on one second. Okay. Sorry. Just had to do a little adjustment. Oh, oh, hi, Kent Crystal. Oh, Kentucky's waiting for more ice and snow. There's a lot of people blanketed in ice right now. Mm -hmm. um, we're not, but we're getting another cold spell tomorrow. So it's going to be 23. Which I don't I don't mind. I'm not going to complain because the cold spells we've had this year literally have lasted like, the what's the longest, 48 hours. Yeah. And it'll be like 77 one day and like, 34 the next, but then it'll be right back up in the 60s. This morning when I left my house, it was 63. Yeah. So, that's as good. As long as we don't get frozen in like we did last oh, like year. last year. I know. Well, that was a 100-year storm. That's what Hi, they Hi, Colleen. And I saw Allie come in. There's Maxine. She don't need to shovel to watch Wig Talk Wednesday. You had to shovel a lot last year, Maxine. I, I just felt so bad for you. Well, Pennsylvania, you're just going to have to shovel snow. Oh, Costa Rica. That sounds nice. Yeah, it sounds nice and warm. It's 87, she says. Hi, Dolores. Hi, Judy. Hi, everybody. Everybody's wow. hopping on. It's Wednesday. They're ready to see new Renee Paris. Yes, we are too. Well, we tried something a little different. I don't know. I kind of, like, as soon as we got the information, I started posting it. Because usually we like to keep everything a secret. Mm -hmm. Because we don't look at these. I mean, we have not opened the boxes. But, you know, when they send all the stuff out soon, we're like, okay, let's just post some pictures and some things. I don't know. I'm ha I kind of had mixed feelings. And I cheated. <laughs> mm -hmm. What did you do, Kim? Well, you posted the pictures, and so I waited till you left yesterday. And then I opened the <laughs> box and peeked at the colors. <laughs> oh, well, they do have three new colors. One of them we could not get. Yeah. And I'm really excited about because I think it's going to be an excellent, beautiful color for those brunettes who don't want too red. It's called Maple Frost. Uh -huh. So, but that's the one we didn't get. So. And usually when these boxes come in, it's like nobody touch them. Don't look. Don't peek. Well, the only reason the main box was open is because yeah, I had like, added on another wig that we had to ship out to somebody. So, but yeah, hey, anyway. okay, I guess I'll just, you know, not let it just, I won't be mad about it. <laughs> I mean, you didn't try it on or anything. No, oh, no, no. I mean, I literally just pulled the paper back and looked <laughs> and then put it back. Oh, goodness. And they're beautiful. Well, I can tell by the color. The color I'm most excited about, besides, well, there's only three new colors. I'm excited about them all. I can't even decide. But that shaded amber looks like it's going to be beautiful because I feel like that's a coal that Renea Paris and Noriko kind of have, you know, in that kind of mid-tone red family. Yeah. So, anyway. Well, um, Barbie, we wanted to see Maple Frost, and as soon as we have it, we will post a picture of it. Uh, yeah, in fact, she's sending some stuff today, so I'll see if maybe she can find anything. But at the time when we got these, they didn't have the maple frost available. So we would have definitely gotten it because, you know, we try to get everything new. Yeah. Oh! Yes? Can we just bring out some good news really quick before yeah. we get started on this? Absolutely. Um, I love good news. You all saw the Kate that we had made in Moonstone last week, which sold out in hours. Um... It's beautiful. It's already on order again. So if you want to get in the line, I mean, you need to place your order for that. But we got news today that the Kate in Silverstone is shipping out today. Yes. 
So we're excited about that. Just Kate's just a good style. It's kind of a little bit more on the modern side. So when you start doing some gray, sometimes you just want something a little bit more modern. So that's why we're having that done in so many grays. So that's Silverstone, not Silverstone. It's just Silverstone. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Not the rooted. Yep. All right. You want to get started? Well, you want to tell us what you have on? Oh, well, somebody, one of our very smart people, it was Beth Franklin, said uh, she knew I had on in charge. I've got it in shaded cappuccino. Yes, and I do put these in the description, but if you um, are just popping in, we'll tell you. I have on Brooklyn by John Renault. It's part of their professional collection, so um, you can see it on our website, but you can't purchase it online unless you give us a call. And this is Toffee Truffle. Lip scents. I have on Crimson, and then I have Solar Flare Gloss. I love that Crimson. It's really pretty. And I just have on red glitter. So if you ever question and you see like pictures of like the tube where the red glitter looks really scary, this is it on bare lips. So it's nice and, and muted, but gives you just a little bit of color. All right. All right. Hey, London. All these people are like, anyway, let's, they want to see. Without further ado. I know. I'm just reading comments. Let's see. Okay. We're, we thought we'd start from longest to shortest. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. In fact, one of the yeah. ladies I've been emailing with, I told her, I think this Ren is gonna be good for her. So you know what I'm excited about too is that all of the long ones that have been put out by every company it seems like lately have been lace front, monofilament, heat defiant, something that makes them a little bit higher on the price point, um, on the price scale. Um, this red is machine made. And it looks like it, the density is low on it from the pictures, and the price is really nice on it. I wish they would do a bigger variety, all of the wig manufacturers, so that you can get, you know, some machine made, some lace. Okay, let's let's put this up here so you can see what we're about to do. So this is called Wren, and I'm going to do it in Moonstone, which is. Am I doing it in Moonstone? No, you're doing it in um, Moonstone. Oh, it is Moonstone. Okay. <laughs> sometimes I don't trust myself what I put up on the screen because it's wrong sometimes. And I'm <laughs> so glad they did Mochaccino R and not the long read. Yeah. I like the long read in some things, but usually it's too dark. So this it's a super long wig. I don't have the specs here. They are on the website, and so you can see the length and the specifications if you go on the website. Oh my goodness, really long. Do you know what I heard on the radio this morning? What? That um, the trends for 2022, first of all for men, I'm sure you've noticed the mullet's back. Um, so the mullet and then for women poofy styles so I'm all excited because the 80s are coming back okay wait is this the center part I kind of pulled mine over to the side okay let's get this tag out of the way because I feel like we're going to have to stand up a little bit to show the length on this can you see it no <laughs> get on my here. tippy toes <laughs> you see now yeah you can see yours okay. so super long mid back um, nice light bang. And I'm 5'4", so that, if that gives you any idea of how long it's going to be. I just am having an issue getting these bangs out of my eyes. But that's partly because we don't have mirrors. In the picture, the image from the manuscript, they really have these bangs like, I think they straightened them out. Yeah, and, and see, mine are straighter. So I think it's, sometimes it's just how they're packed in the box. Well, mine, mine have that 80s. Um, it just and this is really low density, really for sure. It is. I mean, it that's, is. That's my it's head. It's got pearl Poof. But I do feel I'm not used to anything long like this. Me neither. Someone saying you can do fancy hair with this one. Yeah, you I certainly know. can. It'd be a good like summer do because if you want long but you don't want heavy. Well, even if you just neck. wanted to do half mm -hmm. up, half down, yeah. These layers here are a little bit long for that, but yeah, you could you can do a lot with this one. It's cute with just that that hump, hump, humpty hump. Okay, let's switch. This was a total surprise. They originally told us Renee Paris wasn't going to release until April. 
Okay, this cap feels bigger than that cap. Did you loosen it? I think when we put them on, we've already kind of just like our body heat kind of <laughs> stretches them a little bit. Because <laughs> we're, we're we're hot, hot. chicks, but not <laughs> We're hot in one way, but not hot in another. <laughs> right, but different than what you would think. Yeah. You know. This has a little bit of a little crease up here from the box. Everybody and likes your top, Misty. Oh, well, thank you. And this does have monofilm, uh, not monofilm, but machine-made top. Um, how does the permatease look? It looks good. It, I mean, it's not noticeable. Uh, someone's asking, uh, Deirdre is asking if this is a long version of Nokia. Kind of, Nokia's bang is shorter than this. Nokia has a really short bang. Uh, but shape here, yeah, it looks a lot like Nokia. The curl starts down kind of low too, I don't like that. Yeah. Don't you can really see anything from far. All right, someone's asking if we can show the inside of the cap. Absolutely. So... When we say machine made cap, this is what we're referring to. So it just has that solid top, wefting from the crown down. And just to clarify, this solid top looks kind of lacy. This is not lace front. Yeah. Uh, sometimes there's a lot of misconceptions about that. Saying, oh, I, I got a lace wig. This is not a lace wig. It just, they just made it look a little pretty. Okay, oh. what's next? Now, this is the next one. It is from the pictures, look like a center part mid length. Okay, Colleen wants to know how tall you are. I think, Misty, Misty you're what, 5'6, five, 5'7? Six, five, five, six. <laughs> okay, Sage. Oh. And I get to put on Milky Opal. And I'm doing the shade of amber. Okay, you know what this looks like immediately from the box kind of to me? Almost like that rosewood rooted from Ellen Villa, maybe? Maybe not? Maybe. Well, no, it's a little bit more coppery. Almost like Irish spice. Yeah. It's, it's not what I imagined it to be from the picture. I'll say that. From the picture, I thought it was going to be a little bit... Okay, and this... Interesting. They did a really light root on this. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? That milky opal is gorgeous. Okay, so this is lace front, middle part. Oh my goodness. Mono part. That really does almost like have an opal tint to it, where it kind of has. You know how like the pastel rainbow tint. has more of the colors. This is almost kind of reminds me of that, but it's all more blended. Yeah. Because you can see definitely different colors. I thought this was um, shorter than it is. It's actually fairly long. Okay. And this is shaded amber. Center parts definitely are a thing. Sarah, it does look like Palm Springs Blonde, except it's got a little bit more color dimension to it. And the root is warmer, and Palm Springs Blonde is a really cool ashy root. I, you look I so just, pretty in red. I just, and I can't get over that color right there. I thought I was going to be most excited about this color, but I think I'm most, I love that one. But yeah, this shaded amber is really pretty. No, now, Co Colleen, it is that warm. The root is that warm. It's yeah, not Yeah, it's like a dark blonde kind of. Okay, so I always. Let me see. May have to stand up on that one too. Yeah. That's oh, pretty. A little bit of curl. This whole kind of wave trend is big right now. <laughs> Sorry, our chairs are squeezed together today for some reason. Anyway, that's. Oh, it's really pretty. <laughs> Why are we so cramped today? I can't figure it out. Maybe I grew since last week. Okay, so lace front, monofilm up part, like Kim said. Okay, let's switch. Hang on. So you could pull this back. I will say the cap on that one, it, it it's, definitely has good coverage. Yeah. To me, it felt like it came all the way down. This just falls pretty. 
you know what it reminds? It kind of reminds me of um, orchid in the regard that it just it hangs pretty. Yeah, it just hangs nice. really, really pretty. And this looks like it has a lot of fullness down here, but it's not heavy. No, it's, it's not. It's really lightweight. Oh, this I is like pretty. That. I like it a lot. I do too. They did a great job, and I love that color. Oh, I'm going to have to get something in that color. Yeah, this is, you know, what we need to do maybe in a couple of weeks is compare all these super light cool blondes from company to company. Oh, yeah. Because so, it really does get confusing because now they've got the seashell blonde and the Palm Springs blonde, the Silver Sun Rue, and now this Milky Opal. Of course, they're only making this in the new styles, but it's really pretty. It makes me need, I feel like I need bangs, though. Okay. Oh, I never did change my thing. I'm so bad about that. Okay. That's okay. We're going to keep it around anyway. No one else wants the job. I'm sorry. I can't remember. They will be in the description. In fact, they're already there now. And after we get done with the video, I'll go back and timestamp. So if you think you um, want to see a specific style again and you go to rewatch the video on YouTube, it won't do it on Facebook, but on YouTube, just go down into the description box and click the time next to the thing and it'll jump you automatically to that. You don't have to listen to all of our nonsense. Um, the difference between Milky Opal and Seashell Blonde is Seashell Blonde has more warmth to it. It's got a little bit of gold to it and the root is darker on seashell, much darker on seashell blonde than it is on the milky opal. Yeah, and neither one are as, as gold as the champagne though, so it really does have a kind of a stair step. This is also a center part. It's lace front with a mono part. And yes, someone just said, is Kim sitting directly under a light because the wigs look brighter and shinier on her? Yes, she is. Okay, what are we doing, Tara? Well, it looked like it was a center part, but it... It is. It's not hanging that way. Oh, this feels small. It sure does. This one felt smaller, for sure. <laughs> Where's my face? Or my head? Okay, I don't like this. Well, I think it <laughs> if I can if I can get it out of my face long enough to see. I think this is cute if you have a super tall forehead. You know what I think? What? Oh You you gotta cut a bang in this. But look, turn around. Let's let them show you the back because this is cute. It is cute in the back, has some little choppy layers down here, a little bit of a curl, not really curl, but I'm liking this. I don't know that I like that that harsh point right there. Well, I like the point. It's this part for me. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the way Parker used to be from John Renault, which I always wanted and couldn't get it out of my face. Now, we could steam on this a little bit. I think you should cut a bang. Well, I don't think so. Well, the only reason I say that is because there's no layering here. No face framing. Oh, so anytime you yeah, cut a bang in something, it just kind of goes there and just goes down, which on some styles look great. I don't know. We'll have to experiment with it. Yeah. But someone that had a, a long face and a long forehead, this would really look good on. I mean, and it's getting better. I mean, so you know, you just got to work with them. I mean, you know, I'm always going to tuck. I think with a little product, you can get that swept over. Well, it's getting, I kind of yeah, twisted it's, it's it. It's getting, getting better. better. And even though it does have a monofilament part in the center, make it move it over a little farther and make a difference. Well, when I first put this on, I kind of had it over. Yeah, I think it's got potential. I really do. I'm always up for these messy, non. All right, let's switch. Yeah, I kind of like Is that it. Moonstone? What color is this? This is Silverstone R. Okay. I have it up there, ma'am. <laughs> I'm going to remember to change it this time, too, only because you said that, because then I wouldn't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I just started working here. Me, too. 
Okay, this and this silver stone R, the root doesn't look as dark. That's why, I mean. And like you said about that Mochaccino R, same thing with the marble brown. I'm glad to see they're doing less long root and more regular root. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think this is cute. I mean, again, my forehead is super, super short, so it may not be the best, you know, style for me. But I am not saying I still wouldn't want to get it and play you with know, it. What? This is like a grown out ray. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I think playing around with that part, maybe steaming it over just as literally as far as you can go, you have about an inch and a half when they do a mono part. So where I've got it now is as far as it's going to go. But it's it's cute, steaming that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. Well, every wig, I don't care how... Did you, I didn't show the back of that one. Can you put that back on? ...much you like or dislike the wig. There's somebody that will put it on... And it will look gorgeous on. Yes. And I have seen that so many times when... I love this color. People say they want to try something on. I'm like, oh, put it on. It's like, well, that's the perfect style for you. To see this back, I mean, we showed it to you in the marble brown. She turned around. But you can see it a little bit better in the silver stone. It's just real choppy down here. Kind of an undercut. So this is all shorter and the top's longer. So if you do order that and think it's... Let me turn you to the side just a little bit. And think that that's wrong. It's not. It's an undercut meant to kind of keep that stack really cute. So. All right. One more to show you. <laughs> they look like Dutch girls in fairy tales. Not just fairy tales. Old fairy tales. <laughs> yeah. Not any, the first style was the only one that they did a bang this time. Every, all the other three are definitely no bang. All right, Carson. Carson is a lace front mono part, and it has a side part. I will tell you, they're all lightweight. Picking them up out of the box, it's like they're super, super lightweight. And that's also an adjustment. You know, that's the biggest thing we hear all the time is they have too much hair. They have too much hair. And Ooh, this cap is comfortable. And so they're really putting less hair. And thankfully, this is a side part. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, <laughs> this is more my style right here. Oh, yeah. This is cute. This is really cute. Nice, just classic. Do you know what this is a good replacement for? Mm. If somebody wanted a lace front, Tasha. By, oh, yeah. Um, Tony Beverly. Tony Beverly. It's got that nice, sweet. This is nice. Yeah. Now, this looks better than the pictures. Did um, Did you find the cap to be comfortable? Yep. I do, too. Yeah, I think this looks better than the... Not that saying it looks better on us than their models. I'm not saying that. <laughs> but the way it's shaped, I think, looks better. Well, is yours is hanging better than mine. Yeah, yours looks fuller. It's right here, it just looks heavy. And part of it's probably the color. It's just a darker color. But even if I try to like. Yeah, I'm liking this Carson. And again, it doesn't have the layers, so you're not going to put a bang in this. This is a good length. You know, everything bob-wise is usually shorter or longer, and this is good. Length. It is a good length, and it's a, this is a hard length to find. It sure is. I like it. You want to switch colors? Yes. Deanna's asking about a bang. I just said I don't think you would do that because there's um. no but. This would, this would be easier to add a bang to than the Terra. I literally just put that all the way down on my eyes. <laughs> mm. 
that sometimes when you start adding a bang to these like really sweepy bobs, you kind of lose the effect yeah. of this. I like this. I, I like this a lot. It's so comfortable too. Yeah, but very comfortable. Yeah, I think part of that too on me is I've got my my barrettes right there. See, I would I would like I would take this one in the milky opal. Mhm. Mm that would be pretty. And Oh gosh. Yeah, this is my favorite. Yes, my favorite. Well, are you sure? Because I like the the uh, sage, the middle part sage with it. Cause what I about the um, wren and the... Well, I mean, when I say my favorite, personally, I would never wear anything as long as the wren. Because I've never, even in my my own hair throughout my life, when I was young, I never wore long hair. I was always, you know, mid-length or shorter. So, but I think, you know, for long hair wearers, I think the wren is amazing because it's not bulky. Yeah. You know, and used to, like, they would be so thick. I only have, like, two people that I can remember from being here all these years that want that really thick, heaviness down here. Because natural hair, when you grow it out, it kind of just gets thinner as it goes down. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a wig and it's really thick down here, then it kind of looks a little wiggy. But, yeah, I like it. So what's your favorite? For To wear or just from to a wear. styling wear. standpoint? Well, this obviously is my favorite to wear. But I do like, what's this one called? The sage. But I would wear the sage as well. Yeah. I think we need to They're just venture different. out and get a center part. Because we've never done that. You and I have never done a center part. All right. I'm game. All right. So that's the four new styles from Renee Paris. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just read a comment. <laughs> Trish from Facebook says, I never wear hair long enough to touch any part of the toilet. <laughs> well, you definitely don't want something long enough you can sit on it. No. That would not be nice. No. No. Okay. Well, I'm going to put my, I'm going to go back to my original. All right. Me too. You want to talk about the wig of the week? The wigs of wigs the week? of the week. Uh, this coupon code is the same. It's WOW15. But we're going to open that up for the entire new collection. So if you order any of these new styles, uh, you'll get 15% off. You have seen what we have in stock. And so if you order those, we're going to have to get them from the manufacturer. So If you order something that we had on our head, you can get it, obviously, shipped out today. But otherwise, um, maybe next week. Yeah. So um, Barbie says, are these not available until February? I, they didn't tell us otherwise. She just no, said, they're, they're in stock. I mean, I had them on our website for pre-order. So unless they come back after watching us do this, because I know our rep does watch, and she says, oh, no, you can't sell this till February, we're selling them. Yeah. And so we, we can order them. She doesn't put no stipulations on us ordering them. So. Yeah. And it's ready to go. Wow 15, any of these four styles, any color, 15% off for you. For you. For you today. <laughs> Oh, Dreamy says she's adding Carson to her list. I think Carson's going to be probably the best seller from this one. But I do want to play with that Tara because I like that messy. And I think if I could get it lifted up kind of like I do this Brooklyn, I think I would like it. Yeah, and that marble brown is, uh, marble brown is really pretty. pretty on you. So as soon as we get the new uh, Maple Frost, we'll pop in and do a video. Oh, Judy, who told you as an older woman we should stay away from rooted wigs? Oh, girl. You know what I say you need to stay away from if you're an older woman? People that tell you not to wear rooted wigs. That and anything <laughs> you don't like. I'm like, you are the only person you have to please. When you look in the mirror, if you like it, then don't listen to anybody else. I don't care if it's super short, super long, red, pink, purple, green. I don't care if you like it, and that's what matters. You know, as women, I feel like we just, we're so hard on ourselves. And so if we just learn to have more fun with you know what we do and not care about anybody else our lives would be well much and better. wigs give you the ability to change things up mm -hmm. and so it help you can change your whole look and change your color and you can it just opens up a whole a whole fun life a whole, life. New world. A whole fun life oh y'all it's been a all good week. right yeah it's been a great week all right um <clears throat> we have anything else coming up here you wear it's got some somebody new stuff. just put out some new colors Aesthetic is 
um, doing. Go, doing a new blonde, but we haven't seen it. Tony Beverly's doing new styles. Tony Beverly's doing new styles. <laughs> We're going to get one of these days. They don't know what they look like. <laughs> But, but you know what? It's okay. It worked out for Starly. It worked out for Starly, and that's why I told right before we went live, the rep called, and I, she said, well, I don't have specs yet. And I said, you know what? It didn't matter. I don't care. I just want the new styles. Just send them. I don't need specs. It right. took them four months to get specs on Starly. So I'd rather get the wigs and see what mm -hmm. they look like. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway. All right, ladies. All right. Y'all have a wonderful week. We will see you next week. Don't forget, follow us on all of the social media platforms. You know, we've since the move, we haven't really done any kind of pushes as far as, you know, contests, giveaways, and like that. But we're about ready to start back up. Yeah. So, but sometimes we do things on YouTube that we don't do on Facebook. Sometimes we do things on Instagram that we don't do anywhere else. So, you have to follow us everywhere. I know you get tired of us, but it will pay off in the long run. We get tired of us. Oh, I get so tired. <laughs> I told somebody on the phone yesterday. She called and she's like, you sound just like you do on the video. I said, trust me. I get so sick of hearing my own voice. Uh -huh. You have no idea. <laughs> but, yeah, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, we have a, a totally private group called Mimi's Wig Chicks VIP. Um, just go in there and join that. You can interact with other wig wearers and have the safety of knowing that, you know, your friends on your friends list doesn't see anything. Don't see anything. No. I don't. can't get my grammar right today, It's private, it's, so it doesn't go into your feed. I have not had coffee, yeah. and it's lunchtime, so that's scary. Um, also, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Thanks to you, we did finally meet our 20,000 subscribers. And we have something very special coming up for you on YouTube um, that we're going to do maybe around Valentine's Day to show our love. Yeah. So make sure if you're not subscribing, and we have a lot of people from Facebook, if you're not subscribed on YouTube, you want to make sure you go over there and catch us when we do that special event. So. All right. All right. Y'all have a great week. We will see you next week. Same time. Bye. Bye.